R E S. Okay, great. So now you're going to check it off on your checklist. Get your checklist and check off hospital. Hospital, yes. Okay, now Josh, it is your turn. Thanks. Let's die. Shalom everyone. I wanted to do a video on this game. I had purchased it last year at our local teacher's uh, supply store and it is called Town Travels. It is an intermediate phonics game for English language learners and this is for two to four players, seven ages seven and up and it's a learning resources game. So now I'm just going to kind of walk through how to play this game. So basically everyone picks a pawn and each pawn has its own parking space. So you have blue, you have green, red, and yellow. And basically each car would visit the different, the different errands. So you would get a list like so of things to do and you would stop by the police station school market fire station and hospital and when you stop at each of these locations you would have to answer a car uh, one of uh, the cards and if you if the person gets the right answer then they would keep the card and check the location off uh, at their checklist so now this game is a great game it teaches syllables short and long vowels compound words plurals and homophones and each deck of cards represent each skill that it teaches for example you have the orange card that teaches the homophones and it says which word has a long e, oh, excuse me long e sound excuse me which word has a long e like peach sound so it would be a uh, red or read then you have how many syllables are in this word you also have add the correct plural endings to the word and the answers are on the back which is great also you have uh the homophones here the uh, the paper is due at the end of the week or week and what word makes this picture so you say butter and there it is right here okay also when you roll the die which is here for example if you are right here and you roll a number four you would have to stop at each stop sign and answer each card at each location. The object of the game is for the first person to have answered all of the answers correctly and have each location checked off on their to-do list and to collect the cards as well and to get back home to their parking space before the other opponents do so it's a fun and a very engaging game and it teaches it's it's could be used to teach a lesson as opposed to just being able to just sit down and do some writing or um, anything of that nature you know working in a as opposed to working out of a workbook or anything like that this is another great way to introduce new skills uh, for language arts. So I just wanted to give you a quick view of some of the things that we are doing for this summer. Uh, in the summer, what we do is we take more of an unschooling approach and we actually have finished our uh, year uh, as of April 14th. So now we are doing more of an unschooling approach right now. So, and mainly interest-led 
and I had this is one of my uh, local finds and I thought I'd share it with you so thank you for watching like comment and don't forget to subscribe for more thanks for watching stay tuned